So wait, omnes, welcome to this video lesson on chapter nine, Capitulum Nonum. And we are picking up at the, um, near the end of section two of this chapter, the final section. You can see in the margin, the dog, canis, and danes is teeth. Danes dentis is the word for teeth, of course, where we get dental dentures and so on. We also see in the margin the noun clamor, uh, which comes from the verb clamat. Clamor is noise or shouting, and clamat means, of course, he, she shouts. Uh, we see the shepherd placing the sheep onto his shoulders, umeros, and it shows us that imponent comes from in, which is on or in, and then ponent, the verb for place. Okay, so let us jump right in and finish up this last section. Canis curit, the dog runs, ois consistit, the sheep stops, et expectat, and it waits, dum lupus venit, while the wolf comes. Ois balat, the sheep bleats, ba ba. Eke lupus qui ante oumes, look at the um, wolf which is in front of the sheep. Yam ois lupum ipsum ante se videt. Now the sheep sees the wolf himself in front of her, or in front of it, meaning in front of the sheep, right? So the se will always refer back to the subject. In this sentence, ois, the sheep is the subject, so we can say in front of her or in front of it. Oculi lupi in umbra lucent, the eyes of the wolf, uh, gleam in the shadow or in the shade. Ut gemai, as or like gems. Et dentes ut margaritae, and its teeth gleam, understood, like pearls. Parva ois oculos claudit, the small sheep closes its eyes. Et dentes lupi expectat, and it waits on the teeth of the wolf. Okay, it's ready. It's ready to fill the teeth. About to kill it, right? Poor sheep. Lupus colum ois petit dentibus. The wolf, lupus, seeks the sheep's neck. Okay, colum. This word for neck is where we get collar from. Seeks out the colum or neck of the sheep. Dentibus. Dentibus has the ablative plural ending. Remember, ablative is by, with, from, in, on, at. You sort of pick what makes sense in the context. So here the ibus ending tells us to do it with, with teeth. All right, said eke canis akurit, but look, the dog runs towards them, okay? So notice we have akurit, that is odd, A-D, plus kurit, the base verb for runs. And what happens is when you put the odd next to the kurit, the D turns into a C. That's a linguistic factor that's called assimilation. It happens in Latin a lot. It happens in English as well. Certain prefixes or parts of words that get added to others, um, then they want to assimilate, right? The, the two consonants uh, next to each other want to look the same, sound the same. All right, so anyhow, basically the odd is the two and the current is the run, so but look, the, the dog runs towards them, basically. Lupus se ab oe vertit, the wolf turns itself or himself, say, away from the sheep. Uh, do note again, say always refers back to the subject. In this case, lupus, the wolf is the subject, so I say himself. Ad canem, towards the dog, so away from the sheep, ab oe, towards the dog, ad canem. Qui ante lupum consistit, who stops in front of the wolf. Now the qui, that's the masculine who or which, right? It refers to the canem. The dog here in this story is masculine. That word canis can be masculine or feminine, but the dog here in our particular story is male. Et dente sostendit, and it meaning the um, dog, or you could say he if you wish, meaning the dog, shows his teeth, dentes. So ostendit and monstrat, both of those mean show. Lupus ululat, the wolf howls, canis latrat, the dog barks, 
o is balat, the sheep bleats. Pastor qui yam prope est clamat. The shepherd who is now near shouts. Pete lupum, seek the wolf. Sick the wolf, we might say. In other words, go after the wolf, right? Um, canes clamorem pastores audit. The dog, canes, hears the shout of the shepherd. Et sine temore, and without fear, lupum petit. It seeks out the wolf, or in other words, aims at, goes after the wolf. Lupus atem, oim relinquit. The wolf, however, leaves the sheep. Et montes petit, and seeks out the mountains. So it's afraid of the dog, so it just decides to run away. Pastor quoque acurit, the shepherd also runs towards them. Notice the accurate again is odd plus curit. He also runs towards them. Et oim suam, quae intera yaket aspicit. And he looks at his sheep, oim suam, which is lying on the ground. One reminder again, yaket with the et is lies or lies down. Yakit with an it at the end means throws. In colo eius, on its neck, meaning the sheep's neck, sunt vestigia dentium lupi, are the tracks of the wolf's teeth. Ois oculos aperit, the sheep opens up its eyes, et ad pastorem suum balat, and it bleats to its own master, or not master, but shepherd, rather. Pastor laetus, o women numeros imponit, the happy shepherd places the sheep onto his shoulders. Eamque portat, and he carries her, or it, ad keteras oes, to the rest of the sheep, to the other sheep. Quae sine pastore in campo errant. Who, or which, the quae there is the feminine plural, again because the sheep are feminine. Wander errant, without their shepherd, sine pastore, in the field. Procule monte lupus uluat, far off on the mountain, the wolf howls. So that concludes the story. The wolf goes away without any food this time. Have to find food elsewhere because that dog is fierce. All right, well, that concludes our chapter here. Uh, the next video lesson, I'll look at the grammar for this chapter. But I hope you learned a few things here in this story. I hope it made sense. Olete.